everyone. Um, I'm here at the EPIP3 event in Washington, D.C. Um, I'm here with Alex and Abe, who are engineering students at Drexel, and they're going to talk a little bit about their sustainability project. We are. So we have developed a cement that can compete directly with the Portland cement we all know and love. Now, there are two uh, giant concrete <laughs> cylinders here. And, uh, hey, which of these do you think is our greenstone cement, and which is the regular Portland cement? I think the nice looking one is ours. I you're, think that's Portland. You're right, that's one of our many advantages, is that it's a, a, a brighter color, which goes for a lot more on the market. What, what are some of its other advantages here? Well, it produces 95% less carbon dioxide. 95%? 95%. 95. It also is a lot cheaper to produce than How much is a lot, babe? 40% less. 40% less cost. Can you believe it, folks? I, I can't. I can't believe it. It's also Eggs. comparable in strength. Did you know that? It's comparable in strength. It also lasts longer. It's more durable in harsh environments. Hey, why isn't this stuff on the market yet? ASTM. ASTM standards. So we need to pass the standards before it's allowed to be used in the market? Yes. All right, so... Is anything, have we been able to prove this anywhere outside the lab? We've been able to do it in other countries like India. We, we've and done it in India. We've poured a sidewalk. Yes, I think we, we made have. a whole sidewalk. And in the Ukraine, there's buildings. And in Australia, they have it all over their infrastructure. So you're telling me that I could have a cement that costs less, saves on greenhouse gas, and could be used to build small scale industry? Yes. This sounds like a great idea. And you know what? The one thing I want to be sure about is that it passed the seahorse test. Can, can <laughs> That's you make, the hardest test to pass. You can make seahorses out of it also. <laughs> That's really important. Now, you say it's made of trash? Trash. It's made What from, kind of trash? Banana peels? It, it's made out of waste products from the iron industry and the coal industry. And you take the two materials, you mix it together with an activator and some water, and you have a cement that's readily available wherever our water may be. Yeah, you mix it. Yep, you just right. mix it all together. That's all you have to do? There's no thermal processing? Nope, you don't have to heat it up to 1500 degrees C like Portland does. You only have to mix stuff up in a bucket. That sounds great. And if you want to learn more, you can go to a web address that I <laughs> hope they will give you a link to. Yep. Well, thank you guys for listening, and I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Bye. Video clip.